Hey, happy Hambury Wednesday. Um, coming to you again on Tuesday night, uh, brew night. So um, tonight I've got the beer on that I tried to make a couple of weeks ago. That's right, I've got my black IPA on and mashing in as we speak with the full amount of chocolate malt. Um, okay, yeah, so um, I've still got the oatmeal stout and, uh, over there in the fermenter. So I'm going to leave this to ferment on the bench, but I'm going to put a temperature control unit on it so at night time it'll click in and warm it up and um, hopefully we'll ferment it fine. So I don't have a chilling unit, so shouldn't get over 20 degrees, but it's pretty warm in my place. Uh, what else is up? What else is up? Uh, this weekend, hopefully going to capture some footage off to the Waitete Brewers Convention. Um, it's a uh, brewing competition somewhere in a paddock um, and um, seven bands, wild food, homebrew, entry is a crate of homebrew, um, could be messy um, and yeah it's going to be a great night, bands are arguing at the moment about who's going to play, who's going to play last or second last, seven bands um, I think they're a bit worried about the state that they might get in and their ability to play musical instruments. Anyhow, so let's just go check out what's happening. Here. Just briefly. If we open it up, I'm sitting in here at a nice 69 degrees, is our uh, malt mashing away. Just beautiful. Um, I'm going to deviate this from my original recipe. Um, just because I'm being tight, I've um, got a, um, a whack of uh, American Cascade hops in the freezer, so I'm going to use that. I've used them before, um, make a really good black IPA uh, in that true Cascadian dark style. Um, I was going to make a New Zealand one with Mocha Waker and some Savan and I think Rewaka hops as well, but um, I'm just like oh, I need a. I'm going to be out of beer pretty quick. These guys are going to put up. They're going to cane my um, my beer that's in the in the in the in the fridge at the moment in the keg. Um, so I need to get some beer made pretty quick. So um, hence I'm not even putting it in the fermenter. I'm actually putting it on the bench. So I'll whack another another brew on as well. Yeah. So anyhow, I'm going to keep you updated with that as we uh, progress throughout the night of my big brew. Right, guys. So just um, mashed out. Uh, and we're sitting at uh, pre boil gravity of 155, it's pretty high. So I've just got a gentle, gentle boil on here. And to this uh, brew, I'm going to add, whoa, that's crazy light. Right there, Go back. Um, going to add 220 grams of um, US Cascade hops. Cool thing is, in the last five minutes, we're going to add 120 grams, 100 grams, 120 grams of US Cascade. Massive, massive hop hit. So um, I've got them on my hot pillows, lined up as I do. Cool. So yeah, sorry about that. Light was a bit crazy. So lined up. Where to go? Hot pillows. Nice, looking good. Okay, guys, so just um, chilled the beer down and. Um, I'm just using, uh, just cleaning the stuff here. But, um, just using um, a copper wort chiller, and it takes the beer down in less than 10 minutes. So always end up with pretty good results. So um, just had a wee change of plan, and here's the new change of plan. That's what I've decided to do. All right, so beer's a bit warm. I've decided to put the black IPA in here and um, I'll control those next seven days of fermentation at those critical temperatures so it doesn't get away on me and get all yeasty and I've just moved the oatmeal stout out of here and into the bench with uh, put it on the on the heat pad and temperature control unit yeah so that's me for this week um, like I said I'll get some footage from uh, the weekend at Brewers Convention should be good fun. Apparently it kicks off with a cannon, so looking forward to that. Um, cannon, beers, barbecues, bands, 
what more could you want? Um, anyhow, you guys have a happy Homebrew Wednesday, and I'll catch you next week. See you later.